Hi guys, so in today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to use Binance as an escrow. Now, you are doing a lot of arbitrage business with lots of people that you don't know and you want to remain safe in the transaction. You and your friend want to do business, you want to send them money and they want to give you USDT. But you are scared about if you send the money, he might block you or your friend might send the money and you block him. Okay, both of you are scared. Now, I'm going to show you how to use Binance as your escrow how to use binance p2p as an escrow in your transaction okay so first things first you have to go to the funding area tell your friend to uh put the usdt on his binance you should fund the usdt to his binance so let's say you want to pay him with any payment method you've agreed okay and your friend wants to give you 100 usdt tell your friend to fund his binance with 100 usdt then the next step is that you create an ad to buy okay you create an ad to buy now i'm going to show you how to create an ad to buy you click on this area called ads i've done this video before but i'm doing it again because binance always update their app so this is one of my ad you can see this ad is for 1000 naira i will tell you why this ad is 1000 is for 1000 naira that is because i've been using it for uh this same arbitrage okay so i'm going to close it and do it again so once your friend has funded his account with let's say 100 usdt you who is paying will create an ad to buy usdt okay so you're going to click on this area this plus sign and when you click on this plus sign you're going to leave it as buy select this usdt and select ngn okay select usdt sorry because usdt is what you want okay then with fiat you can select ngn on this area okay now you put in 1000 naira here the reason why you're putting 1000 naira is because no nigerian you don't want you want only your friend to be able to see this ad all right so nigerians will not be able to click on it because when you put it at the current market rate nigerians will start coming and thinking you are uh selling usdt or you are you are doing merchant business they don't know that you are doing it for arbitrage so you put it at an unfavorable rate so that no nigerian can come and sell their usdt to you for 1000 naira you understand so that is why you put it at 1000 naira then you click on next okay so when you click on next i know you're already understanding this put your hand put the 100 usdt you want from here if you and your friend want to do a transaction of 200 usdt you put the 200 usdt then tell your friend to fund his account with 200 usdt now let me just explain this uh pictorially okay this is you over here just forgive my drawing and this is your friend over here now you and your friend have agreed that you're, you're going to transfer mon uh, money through any payment method to him okay and he's going to give you uh, 100 usdt so let your friend fund his account with 100 usdt his binance account with 100 usdt and then you are going to do what i'm going to let you know now so this area that is 200 change it to 100 okay and once you change it to 100 then you just come and add any payment method like bank transfer and all of that uh, so and so okay so click on add then you click on our bank transfer then you click on next then you can just click on online don't worry you can post it because nobody will sell their usdt to you for 1000 so you click on post so you can leave your ad uh, your ad is now open okay, you can leave it on now what you're going to do is that you're going to click on these three dots here click on the three dots okay let me try to click on it properly you click on it Okay, looks like it's not responding easily, but I'm just going to try clicking on it. Okay, you click on it and this is going to pop out. Now you click on share ad. It's going to show you a link. You're going to share that link with your friend. Or you're going to scan the, uh, the send the QR code picture to your friend. But the best way is to share the link. When your friend clicks on that link, it is going to direct him to an area like this. Let me show you something. As if he wants to sell his USDT. He's going to come to an area like this okay so this 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 will just appear like your ad but on that ad what he's going to be seeing is the 1000 naira will be here your name and he will be asked to sell now your friend should just click on sell and type in the 100 usdt which he wants to give to you okay and then click on sell usdt you understand when your friend clicks on sell usdt you are going to be notified that somebody wants to sell 100 usdt to you go and make payment on that a certain time frame then you can now go and make the payment from any payment method you and your friend has agreed that both of you are going to use. You understand? And once I made the payment, they can come and click on 
uh, transferred notify seller your friend will be notified that you have paid and he will release the 100 usdt to you so that is how to remain safe in any transaction you are doing online now people want to ask me how can i create ad i cannot i cannot create ads now before you create ad there are some things you have to know you need to have 30 trades in 30 days so if you don't have up to 30 trades in the last 30 days you will not be able to create your ad so you cannot do this okay you can't you can't you can't do the you can't create ads so you cannot do the escrow business if you can't create ads so your friend should wait for you so you can complete your 30 transactions so you can do exactly what you have seen now this is exactly how to trade on binance or any other uh, exchange safely you want to pay your friend with any baby you have agreed that you want to use cheaper cash you are sending him cheaper cash now he has already deposited 100 usdt in his account and you come and create the ad just like i've mentioned and when you create the ad like i've said you share him the link once you click on that link he's going to locate your particular ad and he's going to uh, sell his usd to you then you go and pay guys once you have made payment you can click on transfer notify seller and all of that like i've explained and that is exactly how the transaction will be completed i've used this method a lot and a lot of times and it has been successful guys so that will be the end of this class and don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to our channel turn on your notifications so you'll be getting educative videos like this every time and you'll be the first to be notified see you on another class have a very wonderful and bright day